Hey guys, Claude here in kind of a different video today, just a bunch of tips and tricks on how to debug a data pack. So before you even open, you're gonna to wanna to go to settings and click, check this box right here to open output log when game starts. And you'll see what I mean once we get in the game. So when we click play, it's going to pop open an extra window that is specifically made to help us debug or find bugs with the physical game and even with our data packs or even our resource packs. You can use this to debug a resource pack. Okay, so after about a million years, it opened up, and this is the output log. So you'll see a lot of junk here, and now it's freaking out. Hopefully it doesn't freak out too much. Okay, so there's debugs, which has 10,000. Obviously you don't wanna see them, so you can click it to make it invisible. You can click infos to make it invisible. You can click warnings to make it invisible, because all you care about is reds right now if you're debugging a data pack. Warnings can be helpful, can always check in those but uh, right now we're debugging the data pack so we're gonna load into our world and we're pretending that we have a data pack called game rules ADV game rules I'm gonna use that one so let's hop out of this chamber okay data pack list so first check what data packs you have on all right so ADV game rules is enabled all these are disabled you can enable or disable data pack with enable disable um, so I have a separate video on how to make data packs, but I'll link that in the description if you haven't seen it yet. So if I go ahead and open this file, what happened? There's an error. So it did give me an error because what I'm trying to do is function g c w g m colon lame because there's this function I made here called lame and it's not working. Um, you could have a function. You have to make sure that every function exists. So to make sure I need to go through, so if there's something not working with my data pack, I need to make sure that all the functions that are associated with the thing that is not working is there. So all these files are here, but lame is not here. So we can go into this output log and see what happened. It's gonna be a little weird. Okay, there we go. Couldn't load CW functions lame, okay? So couldn't load lame, and this works for functions, it works for anything in a data pack, it'll tell you that it can't load it. And then it also gives you some help. So unvalid command slash set block error on line one. Did you mean set block? Oh, so it's telling me that slash set block doesn't work. So did I mean set block? Yes, I did. Okay, then yeah, so I fixed that problem. Then let me type reload. Typing reload will reload the data pack. So now let's try it again. And it's still not there. So let's look in here and it says, uh, invalid while parsing incorrect argument for command. So this command that says matches probably doesn't work. So what we can do is we can copy the command and paste it in the chat and see what's wrong. Oh, it's red. So obviously we're missing something. So let's go back and let's see. Oh, it wants to have a score here. So I can't just have one thing. I need two things. So I need, hey, test. So player, hey, on the test score. And now it will run, but it doesn't really do anything. But let's see, CW GM colon lame. So the function's there, it works. So that's how one way to debug it. Another way is to use a text editor like Sublime. This also really helps. So you can click here on package control and you can go to install package, package control, install package. Now we can search function and uh, you can look for a Minecraft function. You can use Google to help you find the right names, but MC, package control, list packages. I have, the one I'm using is Minecraft command format uh, MC and MC function. Those are the two I'm using. So it probably doesn't show up because I already have them downloaded, but you can get those. Um, so that's another way to help debug. And then the last way is just to, if there's a function file and you really don't know what's wrong and the output log isn't helping you, just copy each line and try doing it in order. So you first do that, then we do this line and then just copy each line in order until you find one that doesn't work or does something weird. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Just wanted to keep it short. Other than that, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.